What's up guys, today we will be doing 2017-2018 NFL playoff predictions, but before we do get into the predictions, I would like to announce our August giveaway. We will be giving away a $50 Amazon gift card. All you have to do to be entered is like this video, subscribe to the sports experience, and comment down below you're done so we know you did it. Winners will be announced September 1st. Good luck. Let's get right into the predictions. I'll be starting off with the NFC, and in the NFC North, I have the Green Bay Packers. Now, even though I hate the Packers, they are a great team, and every time I'm looking over at the TV, I'm seeing Aaron Rodgers throw another Hail Mary, and it's just ridiculous. They also have uh, Jordy Nelson, who's a great receiver, and they got Clay Matthews, who's one of the best defenders in the league. Next, in the NFC East, I've got the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, the Cowboys... Uh, Last year, Tony Romo went down and everything. Everyone thought they were going to be bad. Dak Prescott came in, was an absolute beast. I think he's going to keep that going from last year. Also got Des Bryant on the outside and Zeke's beast as always. In the NFC South, I've got the Atlanta Falcons. Matt Ryan is coming off an MVP season. They almost had the Super Bowl last year until they choked. You got Julio Jones, who's one of the best receivers in the game, two great running backs, a solid defense. Their offense is just ridiculous, so they're definitely a playoff team. And finally, in the NFC West, I've got the Seattle Seahawks. Their defense is amazing, as usual. They always seem to be making the playoffs. Um, their offensive line could use some work. Russell Wilson, he's good every year. Doug Baldwin's a beast, and the Seahawks are just a great team. They're definitely making the playoffs next year. For my first NFC wild card, I'm going with the New York Giants. Now the Giants are a great team. Their defense isn't the greatest, but they've got Odell Beckham Jr. and they added Brandon Marshall. It's gonna be hard to guard both of those two at once. Also, Eli Manning's a great quarterback, and they're just overall a pretty good team. Definitely a playoff team. And finally, the second wild card in the NFC, I have the Minnesota Vikings. Now the Vikings' defense is absolutely ridiculous, probably one of the best in the league. You got Stefan Diggs, he's a beast. And Sam Bradford, he's actually not that bad. The offense isn't the greatest, but the defense is absolutely insane. Moving on to the AFC. In the AFC North, I've got the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now their offense is ridiculous. They've got uh, Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, and Le'Veon Bell. That's insane if you have those three on the same team. Their defense is solid, and the Steelers are going to be a great team this year, definitely in the playoffs. Moving on to the AFC East, I've got the Super Bowl champions, the New England Patriots. I don't really need to do much explaining here. They were the Super Bowl champions last year. They added Brandon Cooks. Tom Brady's insane. Gronk, if he can stay healthy, he's a beast, and... These guys are definitely a playoff team. Moving on to the AFC South, I've got the Houston Texans. Now, this division is pretty weak. It was either I, it was down to me for the Titans or the Texans. I think the Texans' defense is very strong. Deshaun Watson might not start immediately, but he'll do good. And, yeah, the Texans are just overall a great team. And in the AFC South, I've got the Raiders. No, they just signed Derek Carr, huge contract. So they got that quarterback position locked down. Derek Carr is great. They got Khalil Mack, probably, the, in my opinion, the best defender in the league. He's ridiculous. And, yeah, I think the Raiders are definitely going to be a playoff team this year. Moving on to the first AFC wild card, I've got the Miami Dolphins. Even though they their quarterback is now Jay Cutler. He's not that great. They still have a solid defense. They've got J.J. who should be back before the season. Jarvis Landry's really good. And overall, they're just a, a solid team. And finally, for the last AFC wild card, I have the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, the Chiefs, they, they got Alex Smith. He's pretty good. I think he's good. They got Tyree Kill. He's super fast. He, he can always make things happen. And I feel like the Chiefs are just always, like, running up some crazy play to get them touchdowns and get the ball in the end zone. So I think they're a playoff team. But, yeah, guys, that will wrap it up for the video. Here are the final standings. I put in the seed. 
what seed I thought they would make. Just a rough guess. But let me know if you disagree with anything down in the comment section below. And don't forget to enter the $50 gift card giveaway.